The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference. Sacre bleu. <laughs> Our taste buds are taking us to France this morning. Shane Rigney from Riggers D8 in Dublin's Kilmainham is in charge of the kitchen. I said we're off to French. Delirious. <laughs> off to French. <laughs> You're doing something French, Shane. I'd love to be off to French. <laughs> so be great. French oh, class. Geez, what have you got? So we've um, chicken. So it's chicken. Um, I think on the recipe I had chicken on the bone, like chicken breasts on the bone, but I actually had some chicken thighs. Yeah. In the kitchen, so I just thought I'd use those. So either or is fine. Okay. Yeah. So, but just to use them up, and they're really cheap, and people are cooking more with them but all the time. With the, on the bone. Yeah, on Preferably. the bone with the skin on. Okay, yeah. so I have the chicken thighs in the pan here. So a nice hot pan, um, a little bit of olive oil, and skin side down on the chicken thighs. So again, you can use um, breasts on the bone, like chicken Maryland, or yeah. you know those kind yeah. of fillets if you want. Um, so you just want to get a nice crisp skin. So we leave those go for a second or two. Um, and then what you want to do is, I'm going to finish them in the oven. Okay. So just roast them off then for 20, 25 minutes, 180. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the same pan, we just drain a little bit of the oil and make a really quick, fresh, vibrant, summery sauce with some peas, bacon, lemon, uh, spring onion, and then finish it with a little bit of baby jam lettuce. So people tend to not cook with yes, lettuce, yes. but um, no. it has a really nice, soft, uh, veggie kind of like, like a kale or a spinach but like lighter okay. and it's really yeah, lovely flavour. It has flavors. a lovely mouth feel. It has a lovely mouth feel, yes. yes. And yes. it's a little bit crunchy so you just throw it into the end and it will stand really One quick. One of those industry terms. Apparently, industry yeah, terms. <laughs> so you don't have to try, you can cook this on both sides in your pan, that's fine, or you can do it in the oven. So I have a little bit of a uh, colour on the skin there. So I'm just going to throw that into the oven then, and then just roast that off. Okay, so about 20, 25 minutes. So about 20, 25 minutes, minutes depending, on your, you know, depending on your own yeah. oven. So we we'll want to drain a bit of that oil out of the pan. Okay. Um, so whatever, into your sink, you know. But you're keeping that chicken flavour. But I'm just there. keeping yeah. the chicken flavour then, okay? So then I want to go in with some bacon and garlic, all right? So I have some thinly sliced garlic, about two cloves for me, for two people. Um, but if you like more, like I love garlic. So three yeah. cloves, whatever, go for it. Um, bacon, lard on, so you can use pancetta, whatever you have. Yeah. Um, some rashers, just, you know, hack them up. Is um, there, rough and better, ready. Is there a better smell in the world than bacon frying in a pan? Ba with garlic. With garlic, oh, yeah, nice. you're right. You know? Olive oil. So toast that up, roast that off, get a bit of colour on that. Well, um, this is French inspiration. Is it petit pois as a dish or something? Yeah, you can use um, petit pois, garden peas, whatever you want. Whatever petit pois just being younger, small, you know, riper yeah, yeah. and all of that. Um, I have some garden peas and a mix of both. Um, so you just want to get some colour on the garlic, let it soften down, not let it burn up too much, and then get a bit of crisp and some oil out of the bacon. Okay. Yeah. okay. So that's your kind of start. Uh, I'm going to throw in some spring onion, let that wilt down. And then um, what I want to do then is, once you kind of have a nice high heat, as you can see on that, I'm going to put a little bit of stock and some wine. So that's just a mix. So a little glug of each. And just then that will take down the, the, the temperature. That's yeah. just chicken and stock. Cook chicken stock with white with, wine. With, with white wine. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have to have the wine if you don't want it. It's still really flavoursome without it, but it is lovely. So you want to just let that reduce. Okay. Let it go. You know, reduce down to like kind of, you know, half. Almost okay. like it, it almost like um, burns off completely. Yeah. Okay. So it's yeah. just like the sauce is just surrounding the veggies. So um, let that bubble up for a few minutes, and then you want to emulsify the sauce with some butter. So, a good oh. hefty knob of butter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it brings that lovely <laughs> creaminess, doesn't it? Adds that lovely creaminess. Some lemon <clears throat> zest. Um, I don't put juice of lemon in this because I don't want it really citrusy. I don't want it really lemony. I want the wine and the stock and the flavour of the lettuce and the peas to come through, okay. but just a little bit of lemon zest. So the zest. juice would take over in It would kind of, of make it really lemony, and I don't want it super lemony. Just a really yeah. like, subtle hint. Okay. Um, so with a whisk or your, your spoon or whatever, just kind of emulsify the butter into the sauce. All right? And you'll and get that gorgeous sheen as you'll well. You'll get that sheen, sauce. you'll get that lovely flavor. Salted butter, you can use unsalted <clears> if you want. <throat> um, you can season this up, but you probably don't need uh, too much seasoning. Um, I seasoned the chicken in the pan. Yeah. Um, and that's really enough because you've got the bacon and stuff, so it is quite salty. Yeah. Shane, can I ask you about the restaurant and how it's all yeah. going post lockdown? Because it's a very tricky business to be in, isn't it? Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's 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 great. We we opened back up for tables inside, so um, okay. we have uh, four, five, six tables inside, and we four outside. Um, so it's great. Had a really busy week, great. Um, which was brilliant. People back in. I'd say today and tomorrow we've some we've some bookings in. I'd say that'll be busy. Shane, it's a hard business. 
in normal times. Exactly. It's really tough. Never yeah. mind tough. all of these precautions. Just going to throw in the peas there, guys. Yeah, Very so good. we have everything set up. We have all of our... Um, we have all of our masks, our gloves, yeah. sanitizer on all the tables, the yeah. shields up. Um, staff is a real problem. If anybody is looking for a job <laughs> as a chef, you need a good please chef. Please give me a shout. I need a good chef we'll so I can actually get out of the kitchen here this morning. and run the business <laughs> and find some other staff. But uh, no, it's great and it's great to see people back in and it's really kind of energized us back up a bit. Good. But it is, yeah. it's a slog, you know, it is tough. So your peas um, went in. So the peas went in there, so that's going to reduce down. So I have some mash then. Right, now this is just oh. do the mash the way you want it. I wasn't going to start, you know, peel, yeah. peel, peel, peeling potatoes and stuff. So it's just some roosters, butter, a little bit of cream, salt and pepper, just standard Lovely. mashed potato, okay? So what I'm going to do is, um, I've just heated that up. Lovely. So a nice big... Dollop. Um, kind of chef -y kind of dollop. Lovely. Or a... Quenelle. Quenelle, as we say. Quenelle. Yeah. Quenelle. Quenelle. And, um, my chef -y terms in. They're ready to go, yeah. You know all the lingo. So I want to throw in my lettuce then. So just take the end off your lettuce um, and just slice it into nice kind of thin slivers. You're um, right, though. People would never, ever think of cooking lettuce. This, um, you can... Uh, don't put any lettuce into this, like not rocket or whatever, yeah. or iceberg or whatever. Use baby gem or maybe uh, romaine. Okay. okay. So, like, Caesar lettuce, you know? And just yeah. take the end off. Um, you do want those um, slightly more bitter stalks that people tend to throw away if they're making a salad, you know, if they peel the outer yes. leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just chop those up. In this, it's lovely, because it kind of mellows out. Right. The bitterness kind of comes down, and it adds a really nice flavour. Okay. So just throw that in. Beautiful. Okay, and then I have one that I and how long did, earlier how long there. How does it take to get to that state? About 10, just, 15 just, minutes? Just, just like not even, you know, four or five minutes. Right, just yeah. you know, it'll down. come down really quick, right? So I have some delicious. chicken pies um, that I've already roasted off. Oh, breakfast is ready, Anna. Breakfast, so breakfast is so ready. Funny. Breakfast of champions It now. is so it's different, good. and it's probably what makes it quite French, using lettuce in a pan like that, heating mm. it up. Yeah. You know, we would never do that. It's a salad no. food. Yeah. yeah, but it's quite... Um, it's just a really, really flavoursome, like it's a really lovely summery dish, yeah. you know, and um, it's just really kind of spring, summer flavours. Um, so then you just want to... So you can see how that's kind of reduced down yeah, to, to down, that, yeah. but, but it's very kind of... Um, not wet, but, you know, you don't get a lot of sauce, or it's not a thick, creamy sauce. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, kind of it, sauce. Yeah, it just kind of really yeah. flavours the veggies and the bacon, you know, so that's all you want. So just oh, kind of spoon yeah. that over the top. I'll that looks great and it smells it looks really good. It smells it? amazing. Get some of the it's that garlic and the bacon. And the garlic oh. and the bacon and everything. And the lettuce just wilts down like lettuce spinach. Lettuce just wilts wilt. down like spinach or kale or something, yeah. you know, like any kind of veg. Uh, Is that on the menu? Veg. No, it's not on the menu. No, we, we don't do dinner. We, oh, do, we right, did do dinner before Christmas and stuff, but we didn't, we're not doing it at the moment. It so might be down the it line. It might be down the line. Yes. So there you go. Yeah, so that, that's that. And you could throw some parsley yeah, or I suppose you could put some... Any kind of herb you have, some tarragon would be lovely in that, but any nice... Smell. I don't think it needs anything shady. It doesn't need it anything else. I just love the flavour of the peas, the onion, the garlic, bacon, The, the only lettuce. thing that's missing is another bowl of it. Oh, yeah. my goodness, Simon. <laughs> I can well, only apologise. I can only apologise, We always Shane. have the seconds in the oven, you see. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, it's delicious. It's nice, isn't it? Is that pancetta that you use? Yeah, pancetta. Yeah. 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 That Smoked that bacon saltiness. is fine, or a nice salty pancetta. Lovely. That's it. Oh, mother. Yeah. That's that is gorgeous, enjoy. Shane. Thank you. Great one to cook for the bank holiday weekend. And continued success with the business. Thank you. Thank well. you very Thank much, guys. Brother, right, for full rest. Appreciate it. are up on our website. Or Riggers D8 is open all bank holiday weekends. And they're only dying to feed you. And if you're a chef, you can pop in too. So you can <laughs> call in there and see Shane. <laughs> now, still to come, summer rosé wines. And in fashion, we're focusing on the boys. Sure, what else would you want on a bank holiday Saturday? <laughs> see you back here soon. The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool. Sensing the difference.